Hello my fashion lovers, I'm back with a new fashion video. The long anticipated movie titled All of Us was recently premiered in Lagos and had a long list of celebrities and content creators in attendance. They all showed up in their exquisite ensembles and we witnessed really cool fashion moments. In today's video, let's read their looks on a scale of 0 to 10 and let's see how well they executed the dress code which was prom inspired. Majority of them understood the assignment and delivered great looks while the couple of them forgot there was an assignment and came looking Looking horrible. Anyways, if you're interested in this, be sure to stay tuned and also check my page for more fashion related content. <laughs> So starting off strong, we have dramatic couple Toby and Hawa. So they both opted for monochromatic looks and looked so clean in white. So for the lady, she had on a white lace dress, which featured high neckline and long sleeves. It sealed fabric cascading at the lower parts of the dress to create more extravaganza. And she crowned the look with a white scarf. She kept the accessorizing simple, opting for just golden earrings and went for a shimmering glam. For Tobe, he was styled by Emmanuel Good News and had on these bespoke suits by T.I. Nathan. The ensemble featured a white suit, jacket and matching pants, paired with a white shirt and tie with a golden brooch. For accessories, he opted for brown and white leather shoes and golden wristwatch, which complemented the polished look perfectly. So it's a very clean and elegant look and was properly tailored and styled. Although I'm personally not a fan of Awa's look, I feel the structure of the dress doesn't look flattering on her. It kind of reminds me of those dresses your mom forces you to wear for your first holy communion just because she wore it when she was younger. I understand that she was trying to be modest but I feel she could have done that in a more flattering way. It's not a bad look but doesn't reflect the dress code well. It's a decent look and I'd rate this a 4 and rate Tobey's look a solid 8. Next we have Emmanuel and Steph. So Steph had on this pink ball dress by Calisiam. The tail length dress featured a strapless bodice with deep neckline and pink tulle fabric to create the ball effect. She styled the dress with golden bracelet and rhinestone encrusted shoes and completed the look with a glowing makeup and styled her hair in a beautiful updo. For Emmanuel, he had on this ensemble by DJ and Colum. The ensemble featured a black satin blazer. The blazer was embellished with rose detail and red details on the hem and paired with black matching pants and black shirt underneath. And he completed the look with statements making red shoes. I'm personally not a fan of the shoes. I feel they looked silly. The blazer and pants are definitely given prom. It's not a very good red carpet look but definitely suitable for prom. For Steph, she looked incredibly beautiful and this is how you serve a prom inspired look. From the structure to the choice of color to the styling, this look was so perfect. It's a very classy and timeless look and I would rate her as a 9 and I would rate the guy's look a 6. Next we have popular creator Soft Made It. So he had on this black embellished suit. The suit was made entirely of satin fabric and featured an embellished suit jacket, black fitted pants and matching vests. He also had on a white shirt underneath and black bow tie. He paired the look with black patterns leather shoes and for accessories he opted for a bunch of cocktail rings, diamond stud earring and dark shades. It's a very cool and well detailed look and clearly reflects the dress code. I love that he put in effort and didn't go for basic tuxedo. I feel that's a very common thing when it comes to men's fashion. I kind of like the look and I'll rate this a solid 7. Next we have co-creator Frances Tiodo and Aswan Nigeria. She had on this dramatic dress which featured a high neckline and cutout on the bodice alongside tie high slits and stunning lace detail at the back of the dress. She styled the dress with clear heels, a stack of bracelets and drop earrings and for glam she opted for a shimmering eye look, glossy lips and a snatched ponytail. I don't think this dress is really giving prom but I think it's a beautiful dress. The structure looked so flattering and the styling elevated the look. The look was perfectly coordinated but not really prom inspired. I love the look and I'll rate this a solid. Seven. Next we have Nollywood actress Inedema Okoji. She had on this beautiful brown floor length dress. The dress was designed by Darren Fabicon. The dress was made of silk and this pleated fabric. The dress featured a sweetheart neckline, beaded fringe details and this silk neck piece that transforms into a train. She styled the look with a couple of rings and chandelier earrings and she completed the look with this Chinese inspired hand fan and hairdo. It's a quite extravagant look and I love the entire concept. She clearly paid attention to every single detail and executed the look so well. I love this look and I would rate this a solid 8. 
Next, we have Cole Nollywood actress Yaba Ojo. So she had on this blue midi dress from her daughter's brand, Princess Closet. The dress featured ruffle detail on the body so had a quite interesting structure. She styled the look with sparkly blue shoes and golden jewels, alongside this white pearl bag which completed the look. So it's a very simple dress and I feel she understood the assignment to an extent. The fact she opted for something vibrant which made her look young made so much sense. But I feel the dress lacked the extravagance needed for prom. It's not a bad look and I'd rate this a solid 5. Speaking of extravagance, next we have Purple Speedy 7 Extravaganza. So she had on this purple embellished number. The mermaid dress featured a sweetheart neckline and was heavily embellished with stones and crystals. The dress also had floral arrangements and butterfly accents added to the back, which added to the very extravagant look. For accessories, she opted for bold earrings and sparkly choker, alongside chunky silver bangles and cocktail rings. And for glam, she opted for a glowing makeup and beautiful updo. So I love extravagant looks looks but I feel this was too extra. Some of the details were not necessary and felt like they were jam packing so many styles in one look. I feel the floral arrangements at the back wasn't needed. The dress already had so much going on and some of the details were clashing badly. Overall it's a very busy look but not bad. I appreciate the efforts that went into creating this look and I would rate this a 7. Next we have co TikTok star Beauty Goddess. So she had on this gorgeous high slit dress. The sheer bone corset dress featured intricate beadwork on the bodice and the lower part of the dress was embellished with crystals. The velvet dress was paired with matching gloves and strappy heels and for jewels she opted for diamond encrusted bracelets and dangle earrings. She crowned the look with this ponytail with bangs alongside the glowing makeup and she looked really good. It's a pretty dress but it's not an exceptional one. I feel they should have taken away the sheer fabric they layered on top of the velvet. That kind of made the dress looked cheap and took away from the beauty. Overall, it's a good look and I'll rate this a 6.5. Next, we have Pressy in this black sparkly dress. She was styled by Emmanuel Good News and she's wearing Udia Gebi. The dress featured a black plunge neckline and cutouts on the bodies, alongside tight high slits and a quite lengthy train. She styled the look with beautiful pink strappy heels, a sparkly black clutch, dainty Chanel earrings and a golden bracelet. And she completed the look with a beautiful side part curly hair. Now this is a gorgeous look and was perfectly crafted. She was keeping it simple and still slid really hard. Although I feel the dress is quite sultry and not very appropriate for prom, it's a stunning look regardless and I'd rate this a solid 8. She totally ate this look up in my opinion. Next we have famous baby and couple Neo and Beauty. So they both looked really good and classy on the carpet. So Beauty was serving lady in red in this beautiful pleated dress. The midi length dress had a strapless bodice and was paired with a red scarf, a red lady Dior bag and black pumps. She opted for simple gold jewels and kept her glam equally simple and her hair was styled in a slick back bun. Then Neo had on this burgundy two piece set which featured a burgundy blazer and matching fitted pants alongside a black shirt top underneath and black boots. For accessories he opted for a gold golden wristwatch, a diamond encrusted neck piece, a stylish pair of glasses and diamond stud earring. They both looked so good and complemented each other perfectly. I love that both looks were sort of coordinated, it made so much sense. I mean they are both individually stylish and obviously make a stylish couple. I love both looks and I'd rate them a solid 9. Next we have the prom king and queen, Dea Teres. So they both stole the show in their spectacular ensembles. Femi had on this green velvet tuxedo with satin lapel. Paired with black fitted pants and black patent leather shoes. He also had on a white dress shirt, a black bow tie, a silver wristwatch with black leather straps and completed the look with his floral brooch. While Vicky had on this stunning yellow ball dress. The strapless dress was intricately detailed and was styled with a diamond encrusted neck piece, a pair of dangle earrings and floral hand piece and she crowned the extravagant look with his gorgeous CRM. The dress was later transformed to this beautiful mermaid dress which I kind of prefer. Fed. I feel Vicky is the queen of mermaid dress and crafts them so well. She looked incredibly good in both dresses and clearly outshined every other person. While majority of the other attendees were keeping it simple, she went the extra mile and delivered. In my opinion, she was the best dressed and I would rate this a solid 10. 
Lastly, we have the producer of the series, Ernie. So he had on this black coat and matching white leg pants, paired with black patterned leather shoes, the white shirt, black bow tie, and a brooch. It's a cool look, but I was expecting something way more extra. He often serves iconic looks, so I thought he was going to score the extra mile since he was hosting. Anyways, it looked good regardless, and these were some of the looks at the premium. Be sure to let me know your opinions on these looks in the comment section. Is there any of the ratings you agree with, and is there any you do not agree with? Remember, everyone everyone has their own take on fashion and I would love to know yours. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Be sure to give this video a thumb up and also turn your notifications on to get notified whenever I drop related content and do not forget to check my page for more celebrities and fashion content. Shout out to all my returning subscribers, you all are the absolute best. If you've stuck with me to this point, thank you for sticking to the very end. Bye for now and see you all in my next video.